Hello, I'm Ferris Pilot, and today we're going to be playing Rogue Harvest. This is an early access game that I think they just emailed out the keys to literally everybody. It's one of those generic sort of survival games, but they promise that it has permadeath and that it's super freaking hard. It also has like some vague story with really long, unskippable cutscenes. Oh god, what have I done? I clicked outside the... I clicked outside the... Game? Oh shit. Please. Okay. Okay. We're back. I accidentally clicked outside the game, but that's okay. Um, why am I playing it in windowed in such low resolution? Because although it does have a full screen mode, the full screen mode just stretches everything out. So because I have a widescreen monitor, it's just going to stretch out all the graphics. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let's not do this. Uh, let's instead... Oh yeah, I have to use WASD because I can click, but the game doesn't have any pathfinding. So like, let's click up here. You can see my guy will just like run into the wall forever. <laughs> it's great. Anyways, let's get out of here. Um, I got an axe and I got a pickaxe. Come on, let's go. I got a hammer. Okay, good stuff. The first time I played this game, I burned down my house by building a campfire inside of it. So I hope that nothing too bad happens here. <laughs> uh, we got some logs. Yeah, we should probably build a campfire, actually. And let's do that right now. In, in front of our house is probably a better, better position to do that. You have to press escape and then click on items to go into the inventory, which I find a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the way, considering you want to access your inventory quite frequently. Crafting is pretty easy. Anyways, where- oh god, what have I done? Why are you burning the floor? Don't- oh my goodness. It's okay. We'll be fine. Just- just- let's just go leave the fire. <laughs> let's, let's let the fire do what the fire does. We don't have to worry about that. Let's go chop down a few trees. Maybe kill a bunny rabbit or something. We need to get some food for ourselves. And, you know, I like survival games. I think they're good. I like super hard survival games, though. I don't like stuff like, um... That's, like, super easy to... I got a soul. That's kind of... That's kind of scary. I just killed a rabbit. I didn't get any rabbit. I just got a soul. But anyways, I don't like survival games that are too easy. I like the survival aspect of it. You know, the hard part. I... Like, for example, I liked uh, Stalker Call of Pripyat a lot because... The early part of the game, you really struggle to get by, you know? There's these radiation storms that you have to hide from and things like that. So I think that's pretty cool. This game, I think, is a little bit on the easy side. It's sort of like the Terraria style of survival game, which I don't mind. But even in Terraria and, and Starbound, I kind of like the early part of the, of the games. Okay, let's not get hit. I kind of like the early parts of the games a little bit more than I do the later parts. So I don't know about this game. Is that a potato? What the heck is that? It is a potato. What the heck? <laughs> All right, let's go and see if our fire is done. Take some leaves. You can eat leaves in this game, by the way. They're a good choice. Is that a turkey? What the heck is that? I, I don't. I don't even know. Okay, go away. Let's go and get a pickaxe and mine some ore. All right, you, that's like not, not the exact way I would swing a pickaxe. You know, from bottom to up. When I'm trying to mine rock, I would usually skip it. I would usually um, swing the pickaxe, not skip it. I would usually swing the pickaxe from top to bottom, but, you know, who am I to tell you what to do? How to live your life? I don't know. Uh, let's switch over to our hammer. Oh, God, there's so many enemies. I swear to God. Why is the hammer, like, basically some kind of spear-type weapon? I don't mind it. I'm just saying, it's a little odd. It's okay. You freaking mushrooms, get the fuck out of my face. Don't eat the mushrooms in this game, by the way. You will go into, like, super hallucinogenic mode. And it's going to be crazy. Is that a jack-o'-lantern? What the fuck? Harvested a pumpkin. Why does the pumpkin look like a jack-o'-lantern? It has candles in it, bro. You shouldn't you shouldn't be eating that. Um, anyways, our fire is done. Let's... Shall we cook? Requires oven. Oh. Oven. Eight stone, four wood, four charcoal. And we just need four charcoal. So we got to make some more... We have so much... What is that noise? Anyways, we have so much tree stuff. We can go and, and we can make like a bunch of these. So we need three more. And I'll just place these down somewhere. Maybe on this stone so it doesn't set fire to the surrounding areas. Put it here. And we'll... Okay, apparently it sets the stone on fire as well, which is a little bit disconcerting, but that's fine. Um, now I'm going to chop down this tree as well. So while we're here, I mean, we might as well, right? The tree is immune when you're at night. No, it's good. Place seems real dangerous. I need to try and build a strong weapon at some point. Probably. It seems like a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stick close to the fire. What if they're wolves, man? I don't want to get, I don't want to get killed by them. Well, I'm not gonna wait the entire night. That seems so boring. Let's go out here. Oh, they're Skeletors. Hey, Skeletor, how's it going, buddy? Oh God, Zambonis! Oh shit, run! 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the lack of AI pathfinding is helping me out in this regard as well. I guess they can't walk through doors at all, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I guess they're supposed to just be hiding inside of the, inside of the house the entire nighttime. What if I do something like this? Zamboni, what's up? What's up? Stupid Zamboni, come over here. He's afraid of me. They're afraid of me. All right, I don't like the darkness here. Go back into the house. It's like super dark. They're damaging our fucking house. What the shit, man? Yo, yo, stop it. Stop it. You're gonna stop my house, man. I need that to live in side of. All right, well, I don't know what we're gonna do without a house. I can kill these skeletons. They're not that bad, actually. I don't know how to fix your house. I guess we use a hammer. Oh, no, that just destroyed it. How about if I try and plant this potato? Can I do that? There's blood. Their blood will water the ground for my potatoes. Plant. Oh, my goodness. What the heck was that? There's a fire flower in this game. That's some nonsense. Well, what the heck? Oh, God. Did some damage. Circle strafe. Circle strafe. Um, I seem to be fine, actually. All right. I should have been, like, murdered horribly by that fire flower. This game is not hard at all. What the heck, man? I should have been dead by now. Oh, I'm, I'm actually slightly disappointed. This just feels like I'm going around succeeding at survival. What the heck? It's not what I wanted. Oh, shit. Where's my house? Did I get lost? Did I? No, I think my house is near here. What What are you, bunny? Bunny? Bunny rabbit? Give me your meat. Yes, rabbit chops. Anyways, what were we doing? We were building a freaking, um, a freaking oven. I need to build it. Come on. Go inside of your house, bro. Create an oven. Do it. Okay, good. Place the oven within your home. And now let us go into cooking and make some uh, rabbit chops and perhaps a baked potato. Rabbit chops, baked potato. And now we can eat like a feast of the gods. Um, once I find out my inventory, my inventory, okay. Feast of the Gods! Hot and savory spud, plus six energy. Let's go and explore during the night, which is something that is inadvisable to do. Um, but I'm gonna do it, because I'm a badass who doesn't give a fuck about the game's rules, man. Let's go gather some trees, and... Um, yeah. That's gonna be fine. What's that, skeleton? You think you're tough? You're not tough. You're weak. Worthless and weak! Let's go. You know, it's not that hard... It's not that hard. It's not that hard of a game at all. It's actually pretty easy. What the heck? I'm gaining resources at night here. Yeah, you okay, you hit me. Big deal. I don't really care. I can still, like, destroy you guys. It's not even... It's not even an issue. I was outside the entire nighttime. And I was perfectly fine. This guy's gonna chase after me, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna look for some rocks, actually. I'll kill him. Eh, you don't really get any benefit for killing them at night, though. Oh no, you get souls. I don't know what those do. Maybe they give you energy? I don't know. What is with this weird, creepy noise that's going on in the background here? It's kind of weird. It's kind of, like, kind of scary, actually. <laughs> okay. This is like a bit of a click fest, I'm going to be honest with you. But um, I seem to be doing pretty well. The skeletons... Okay, this guy hit me. But, but ignoring that, I was doing pretty... Okay, this guy hit me too, but he wasn't part of the nighttime problem. Okay, let's fight the spider. The spider will be our final boss here, and then I'm gonna stop playing because Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Come on, spider. Oh, wow. I got envenomed. Alright, come on. Come at me, bro. Um, I may die here, actually. The spider seems like a boss type beast. That's okay. We're gonna be alright. Oh, God, no. What have I done? Axe. You have to save me. I think the axe is actually a better better weapon than the uh, than the hammer. It does more damage, apparently. And at the very least, it allows you to hit stun the enemies more. This guy, he knows when to hit me. To, I mean, he knows when to attack to hit me. He also spawns, like, spiders or something. Oh, well. Probably should have had... Um, probably should have had healing herbs as my inventory, but... No, that was pretty easy. We still won. So, I don't know. Game, you promised you're going to be hard. But you're not hard. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. And I'm going to stop playing. So, bye.